what's up chelo gang welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel in this week's video we get to explore a bit we are on alozi road next to braeburn garden estate school um our location currently is uh, alozi road um seven, house number 70 and we are at kevin obara's workshop this is our, our repair shop for all stringed instruments and also woodwind and brass instruments so if you are a musician this is a location that you need to pin down because currently in kenya there are only two luthiers who repair instruments and he is one of them he is currently the only one in nairobi so you really need to pin that location each and every single time you have a mishap with your instrument he's a guy you need to call i'll also put his number down there and is on Google Maps. You don't even have to struggle. I did not struggle getting here in the morning. So I got here at 8 a.m. It is uh, almost 10. But the good thing is that we are done with everything we needed to do. My end pin needed to be replaced and or fixed. But it turned out it needed to be replaced. And we also ended up rehearing my ball. So this is Kevin Obara's uh, repair shop. You guys can come in. This is it, and um, that's my cello. Now, let me show you the man. <laughs> hey, what's up, Kevin? Hey, how are you? I'm going to put up the light, light, light. Yeah. Oh, yes, there, yes, there. Oh, See, okay. he's in his uniform. He's beautiful. Yeah. That thing looks nice on you, man. Santa <laughs> Santa. Hmm. Mm. So introduce yourself. Oh, my name is Kevin mm -hmm. Obara. Uh, I repair brass, woodwind, and string instruments. Uh, workshop in Garden Estate on Alozi Estate Road, yeah. House Number Seven. Seven. Yes. Feel welcome. Come here. Just spend some time, make stories, and repair these <laughs> instruments. You need to tell them any instrument, no matter how damaged it is, yes, he what? can sort that out. Imagine. Yeah, be it tuning your pianos, be it uh, repairing brass instruments, be it, be it repairing woodwind instruments, be it, be it repairing string instruments. Yes. You just call me, we'll, yeah. I'll be more than happy to. Because I know people who have broken violins and cellos. You guys, just bring it to him. He'll sort you. Yes. He'll sort you out. I'll sort you out. Whoa, that comes out like that. Yeah. I love what you know, you ain't pin me weak. So, when you look at the most likely you'll have to to need it to initial end pin. Yes. So this oh. one, is this one, if this is it, yeah. this one, do you know? <laughs> When I'm performing, cut mm. your performance mm. in a nanga kienda. In a daily life, guy. Like what are you? Now come back, you come a daily life, guy. My God, cause the men they can end necessarily. Like you have to just, keep like. Ni lienda tunayo. Kofla. Uno na ni uli shave na ukumbuki. You don't remember. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you play. Hey, we are sorry. But I don't, I don't, I don't like like pulling it up. Mhm. Mm hey, look at that. Huh? A fundi that actually plays an instrument. But let me ask you, Bara. Um, a luthier. Okay, the pro correct pronunciation is luthier. Yeah. Um, see, it's a person who makes stringed instruments. String instruments only. Yeah. yeah. So right. why do you have <laughs> all kinds of instruments? No, I, 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 I do both. Both? I do both the repair of brass and woodwinds mm -hmm. and the strings. 
and percussion. <laughs> That's a percussion kick. Percussion kick for drum set. Yes. Wait, drum set na kwanga percussion? Yes, drum set is percussion. Oh. Can I ask you a question? Yes, please. Um so how did you how did um this whole story begin? You becoming a luthier and so uh you know, you know I grew up in ghetto classics. No, I did not. I um, I've been I've been playing uh, the the tuba and drums uh -huh. in uh, in ghetto classics. Okay. And so um, when ghetto classic was starting, we were only fourteen. So so I I used to play the tuba, and then now the instrument would get broken at some point. Mm. And then because the organization depends on donations. Yeah. The instrument will stay for like two years, three years, and it has never been repaired. Mm. So at some point, we had to look for a way of solving the problems ourselves. Okay. And one of the uh, things I started doing is cleaning my valves, the tuba, um, uh, just just fixing it myself, mm -hmm. making sure that it's okay. Mm. And so the interest just grows. So a saxophone is having a problem, and I just started trying to figure out what's happening actually. Mm. Then with the time I realized actually I was getting into something. So mm. of course so many instruments were damaged during that time when I was trying to do my own repairs. <laughs> but part of it also was solving problems. So I managed to solve problems as well. So um, then I suggested that to the organization. Mm -hmm. When I finished uh, high school, I told them I wanted to do I want to do the repair of music instruments at all in Sakaria. Mm. Told me, I don't care, we will see what we do. So the first training in 2017, I get a chance to go to the ISK. They had uh, some facilities. What is ISK? International School of Kenya. Okay. Yes. So it is just here in Kenya. Um, it's a school. So they, they, they because they also have a, a music department, mm. they talked with a, a, a school in uh, the US mm. called the Colorado Institute of Music Technology, which had the, uh, one of, of the... Actually, the founder of the school mm. come to Kenya. His name is Daniel Parker. Mm. Daniel Parker comes to Kenya, spends time with us. So um, news went around. If there's someone who wants to learn this, hey, you can come. You have a chance because uh, we will have a facility here in Kenya. Mm. So the organization paid. I went, did my training for some days. Then I felt like a repairman at that moment. Mm. But I had only done brass and wood mm -hmm. with uh, Daniel Parker. So some tools were bought and I started repairing things. But now in the repair work, I also did a lot of damage. I still wasn't there. Mm. So of course, I had moved a step further, but I was still not there. So the plan was still there to see if I can have a chance to go mm. and study. Then um, in... 2018, mm. a lady, uh, I got a different job in the organization. My, my job became teaching first, teaching tuba, teaching recorder, uh, and then also uh, organizing Skype lessons between string players in ghetto classes uh, and uh, teachers in general. Mm. So by this time now we have a good number of students. We, we are a good number, not 14 the way we used to be, mm. because Ghetto Classic was growing really rapidly. Mm. So one day, uh, during one of the lessons, a student got late by uh, joining the class. Mm. And so we were just talking with the teacher, it's called Stephanie. So Stephanie asked me, hey, Kevin, what did you do yourself apart from organizing my schedule? I said, I teach. But I've always also wanted to do a study mm. on the repair of brass and wood, mm. on the repair of instruments. Told me, yeah, uh, the organization I work for here in Germany has always wanted to sponsor someone to come here, learn the repair of music instrument, and then go back and help get classes. Say, okay, well, that first one is me. So I just started off looking for papers. <laughs> I know. Uh, I didn't have a birth certificate. That's what took me so long. Uh, the birth certificate took, took me like around two years. Let's get it. And uh, eventually, I got it. Um, I can't really forget the date. I got the birth certificate in, on 2nd of October because that's the day it was printed. Mm. And they gave me the same day mm. after two years of 
go, go, come back, go, come back. Yeah. So eventually I got the birth certificate, had my passport within a week, mm-hmm. um, got a visa, went to Germany, did my training, um, first session, which was taking six months, mm-hmm. came back, went back for the second session, mm-hmm. and then, uh, yeah, yeah. It's yes, of course. Uh, I had a. Uh, if you if you look at some of my tools, yeah, they are, they are very expensive. Like those the, the ones right uh, ones? ahead of you. This ones. Oh, uh, this ones. Those are called dent boards. Uh huh. They are very expensive. Okay. Mm, and actually, I'm the only person in Kenya who has them. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yes, because they are yeah. used to, to get uh, dents mm-hmm. out of instruments. Like one of one only the smallest. Mm-hmm. Cost six thousand. Like that the one. one. This one here. That's the small one. This one. one. Yeah. This is the smallest. Yeah. It costs six thousand. Wow. So and the price goes. Of course, higher. So higher. they are the most expensive things I have in the workshop. So no, those ones, I did it. I I did it. Um, actually, I did it by by them mm-hmm. myself. Uh, so when I was in Germany, uh. A guy called Thomas Tuchin. I had mm-hmm. met him here in Kenya. Mm-hmm. He he plays the cello, and he used to play. He plays still. He's a doctor, mm-hmm. but now I'm, I'm a medical doctor. Yeah. And he used to play. He, he plays with a, 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 a strings quartet called the, uh, the Ensemble Medici, mm-hmm. an ensemble of doctors. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So they play music. Um, all around Germany, they're very famous. Yeah. So they came, to, they, they normally come to Kenya and do all these concerts. So mm. when I went to Germany, he invited me to his house. So I went, stayed there, um, and um, he introduced me to his Rotary group. The Rotary group called Rotary of Union and Rhine. Yeah. So this Rotary group uh, gave me some money, mm. which you used to set up the workshop. Yeah. Make everything inside here. By tools mm. and uh, yeah, buy some raw materials, mm-hmm. and that's what we that's where we are. That's where we are today. Yes, that's, <laughs> hey, that's, that's an interesting story, honestly. That's, that's, yeah, that's how we are here. Yeah. Yes, so my cello, what's, what's the problem with that cello? Aki, I'm to make a new if I can't even make one shakila kitu. Aki, it looks naked, literally. <laughs> In a cartoon, naked. So the cello has a problem with the end pin. Uh huh. So um, this, this is my was my end my end pin. Yes. Uh huh. This the screw is worn out. Oh. So, so okay. Because the screw is worn out, and then uh, the make of the of the um, end pin doesn't allow us to to change the screw. Oh no. Because it's not that one. I don't like where you're going. <laughs> Yes, it's not that way. I'm about I to feel least, some pain yes. in my liver. <laughs> ah, kidneys. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so um, what we do is um, we're going to have a new one. Mm-hmm. And I, I've chosen this one. She has not chosen it. But... <laughs> I actually like this one. Yes. Better. So this color. is what we're going to have. Mm-hmm. We're going to fix it. Return everything. Let you play your instrument. What's the other thing about it? I think... Nikasuma, let me not leave um, my bow. Let me just come with it, just in case. Mm-hmm. Do you repair bows? Yes. Hi. This, this, this is my hair. It comes like this. Um, and, and bow hair is made out of? Horse hair. Horse hair. This is the tail of the Not horse. synthetic fiber? No, 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 no. Mm. This is mine. Okay, you can have bows made of synthetic fiber. Yeah. But mine, this is hair. Like if, if we have to burn this, mm-hmm. then uh, the smell will be just a few hair. Mm. Uh, this one is... I have a question. Why is it expensive when we have so many horses? Um, not every horse has this very long tail. Oh. Especially horses in Africa. <laughs> For real though. Because they, it's not cold in Africa. So, so it has something to do with our yes. weather. Okay, in, I did not know that. In Germany, Finland, uh-huh. uh, Russia have got their their hairs very long because yeah. they are, they, um, it's a way it's a, it's a, it's way. a coping mechanism. Yes. So this one goes for uh, ninety thousand. Ah, 
Yes. My kidneys are leaving me. Yes, but uh, now if you're here... I'm even afraid of you to look at my book. Because I'm babu. <laughs> yeah. So this one, yes. It comes like this. Then when you open it, it looks like this. Ah. Uh, yeah. So this is still new. So I still have... Uh-huh. Ah, it's heavy. Yeah. Yes, this, this one can can here he around thirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Five bowls. Yeah, makes sense. Cause I cannot. Yes. I am. I'm afraid of you to look at my bow because it will be expensive. To mevunjika twingi. Just this last weekend, we to come and tart. But then I tell you, I'm gonna nail cut. Is it? Why do? Why does that happen? Is it because the bow is old or? No, it's sometimes it's who repaired it. Mm. Um, sometimes it is fully heard it. Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes it is you personally as the player. Sometimes it is also the casing. Just, just storing. You, uh, you see, it is hair. Yeah. If you keep plucking your hair, you lose it. So sometimes it's not all about the instrument. Ama the, the, the Honestly, my boy doesn't have a lot of hair. You have, you have a lot of hair. <laughs> no, you. Then you need to look at second option. No, it's in a bad yeah, condition. So, so um, for players in your, in, in your level, this one needs to be here. I know. Yes. <laughs> my kidneys. Yes, the hearing about. Wait, how, well, how much can I sell my kidney at? Yeah. Uh, here in Kenya. Like in Germany, the. This is you. <laughs> For us to afford this good instrument, yes. I we need to sell a few kids. Just one, I think one will cover everything. Yes, one. Do you know there's a there's but a ten million dollar cello? Yes, ten million. St- Stradivarius. Stradivarius. <laughs> and, and, and even Stradivarius are not even one of the most expensive cellos. Yeah, there's another one. There's another one. Yes. There's another one. Cause that. Yeah, there are um. But but also still there are players who there are luthiers who make instruments mm-hmm. that are way far expensive even than more than Stradivarius. The Stradivarius are really ranked because of the age. Age, yeah. Uh, which which is fair enough because yeah. instruments the older mature, it is, yes, the better the, older it the, is, the, better, the, the sound. better the sound. Yeah. So um, but um, I would say if you get a go- a good um, maker who just makes a good instrument for you, uh-huh. then you're good to go. You don't have to so, are you that maker, Obara? Are uh, you? I'm, I'm, I'm not yet there in making uh, an instrument. Because you, there there in... you need a lot of, you need to <laughs> yes, for need pressure it's... of this. And thing. then it's also, um, there's also the, the financial aspect of it. Yeah. If I made this gel, mm. I wouldn't sell it for less than a million. Ha! Huh. Yes, yes. Yeah. Thank you. That's the reason. Oh, yes. Thing. What? Yeah, so you see, if if I want to be able to sell them cheaper, mm-hmm. then I need to be making a lot of them. Yeah. Yes, and then uh, yeah, cause I read somewhere that it takes a really long time long for time. for you to just make one. For very you can long. make like two cellos in a year, just yes. two. Now, for very uh, like in in China, mm. they have machines that just shaves the. the Th- that one is from <laughs> China. That one. They have machines that shave. You see, you see, your cello is made up of around 70 pieces of wood. Uh huh. So the, the 70 pieces of wood mm-hmm. are, are um, distributed all around. Okay. So they have machines that are making every piece of wood, mm. like a shaving. Yeah. Of course, the woods are, are not made, yeah. they are grown. Yeah. So they have machines which shave the pieces of wood. That's why mm-hmm. you realize that with the instruments coming from China, they don't have a line over here. <laughs> they don't have a line. You know how I know mine came from China? Because I had it, um, what are they called? The people who look at the price, uh, they can look at the instrument and tell you the price. Oh, I've never known. Yeah. Amati, <laughs> Amati, mm-hmm. Amati had come to Kenya and they were, um, like what is it called when you're looking at, a, when you go to valuing? Where? Oh, okay. So they valued, Amati came to Kenya and they valued my instrument. And they told, they asked me, how much did you get it for? I told them and they were like, oh yeah, yeah, it's from China. It's yeah, you see, you see, ouch. Like you see, look, just come here. Uh, 
Um, I don't know if you can have an instrument that actually has a line. And as if I tell you what line I mean. Yeah, that it's, looks like a really good violin case. <laughs> so it must be a, a very good instrument. Okay, let us see. We have a line. Okay. This one also, it was from China. Yeah, because yes. out of the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... I have a friend who has a stenta violin. Stenta is also... And it's a real... Aki actually too heavy, mm. you know. Yeah, yeah, you respect. You respect. Sometimes your instrument sound good, not because of how it was made. Mm. Of course, that's also part aspect. Yeah. But um, also how the bridge shape, uh, where it is placed, yeah. your strings. So, so many things. You have your, your bow. Uh -huh. How is your bow able to... What can your boat do and all that? So, I was telling you about a line. Yeah. This line mm -hmm. normally means the instrument was handmade. Why? Mm. Because this part was yeah. made on its own, and, and then part was made on its own, and then glued they back, and then they sh shipped. Mm. But with the, in China, they have machines that will just take a big log, yeah. take it straight into the machine, it shaves. Instrument. And sometimes that's a, that's a problem because as you were telling me, my air holes are not aligned. Yes. So. Sometimes that's what happens. And then sometimes yeah. it can be very accurate. Sometimes. Because let me tell you, Nime Vunja strings mob. I have oh. broken so many strings. Oh. I have cried. Nika <laughs> Choka. Yeah. Um, it's part of it. Plus, I was also a very reckless player. I'm a reckless because um, well, you are, you are. I think yes. <laughs> okay. I think I was like you when you were saying you were just yes, yes. just so curious about everything. I think I've broken almost everything in that cello. I broke I broke that my first bow mm -hmm. trying to see other season in Kwana Jarubu Kwangalia. Um but you, you learn, you yes, learn. It's that's, the only way to learn. That's the only way to learn. Mm. Um, so, procedurally, mistakes are there to be done. Plus, let me make my mistakes teacher, with the China cello. Yes, so that teacher. when I do get a good cello, I'll be like, yo. I had a teacher who was told, like, he, he, he was the deputy principal, mm. and then he would tell me, mm. Kevin, why are we not breaking rules? Oh, it's nice. <laughs> And as you are eventually at Anichapa, if you break the rules, but he was always there. Like, ah, hey, if you don't break those rules, you're never going to learn. Ah, uh, yeah. So keep breaking them. Oh. So just do those mistakes, and then I'm here to solve them. <laughs> you <pay> me. <laughs> Kenyans, Kenyans, yeah. we. Hey, but I've learned a lot. By breaking a few things here and there, I've learned. I've learned. Okay. So the distance between um the... This 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 hole, mm -hmm. whoever dug it, mm -hmm. we dug it a bit a bit wider. Okay. So what we, what we are going to do, we are going to refill it. Mm -hmm. mm. So I'm going to just use a piece of sandpaper. Oh, this is sandpaper. This Why is, is the sand part? It's very it's very oh. fine. Yeah, you Amazing. can't tell. It's also because you know unakumkazile ukienda ukifanya KCP closet eh? yes. so you have to clean your your desk the desk yeah this kuna ile tulikuwa tunatumia that one yes. this then one is what you used to trade this one i know you have never seen this, this is one. very cool yes. then there is also actually hey yeah, you have tools and say <laughs> you got tools the problem is we don't have this in africa now you have to only support this is the even finer yeah oh yeah it looks fine yes. So, um, so like now that you're you're going, you have you have to make sure you come with everything you need yes, when you come that's back. That's also part of the advantage. I get, I'm I'm happy I get a chance to travel um, so much. Mm -hmm. So my workshop is always um, supplied. Yeah. Uh, but um, it just yeah you know okay so maybe maybe you you're also asking yourself how it happens about this space. Yeah. Here, because. Because we, we are in the middle of garden, garden estate, estate. Yes. Brayburn. Yes. Uh, so, uh -huh. Please tell us. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the organization now, Ghetto Classic, has yeah. really grown. Yeah. It's really big currently, and uh, we have we have around um, one thousand two hundred, one thousand three hundred members. Mm. Actually, people. So 
the workshop is always busy. So I'm employed by the organization. Ah. So I repair the instruments at a, at a salary yeah. per month. And then now they pay for the space and everything. So it is, yeah. that's, that's how we work. Because I, w- I wanted to ask, so how is being a luthier in Kenya, is it um, like this as an other jobs? Of course. Yes, so, it is. Is it an eight to five? Um, it Not... depends with you. It depends ah. with you and how you plan your clients. Sometimes you tell a client you're busy, not because you're too busy, but because you want your days to be supplied. Get what I mean? Mm-hmm. If I know tomorrow I have not yet received a call mm-hmm. from someone who wants to come here, mm-hmm. and then I have three clients today, mm-hmm. I'll distribute them. Yeah. I'll ask all of them, mm-hmm. are you willing to come tomorrow? And are you willing to come on Saturday? And then I see. But then it is you. You, mm-hmm. need, to, you need also to, there's a saving part of it. Yeah. <laughs> you need to save because uh, sometimes you can stay even for a month without a client. Okay, it used to happen. I always receive clients. Yeah, yeah. But it has it used to happen that you stay here mm. for like two days, three days, mm. four days, a month, without even receiving someone saying they need their instrument repair. And the ones who call you call you mm. are calling you for something uh, to do with seven hundred book. Maybe you need to just twist something. So theater mimic wave. Yako we pick wave. Yako yako ni yako ni kazi ni Yako lazima nikilia oh my goodness. I, I, why did we choose music? Because I you know it's 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 more expensive, honestly. Music, music, yes, music. Is Sometimes we sit with my friends to Nambia and Aki manze to get one fifty by a hundred by now. Aki and a chapa chelangu na nyundo. Nyundo. We? This one is hard. So you're sure that will never come off? Yes. So um it can come off. It can come off and I want it to. Yeah. But not that easy. Mm-hmm. Mm. This one comes, goes. Na jota ni shave njamba mpaka hizo time fine tune na zimezitonisha. This one. Imagine. <laughs> why why do you keep doing that? I it just happens. I okay. don't do it intentionally. Oh. Yeah. Then you should start training first on how to stick your hands. <laughs> but it's not intentional. We will focus with the playing later. <laughs> no, I my first year of of playing music, mm-hmm. I think I did more damage to it than playing. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's a good story. <laughs> that's a really. Nice. I was actually going to buy the violin. Okay. Because I haven't, I didn't grow up in a musical background. Mm. Um. Mm. So the violin was all I I'd see in adverts in 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 play a lot of places. Mm. I I never knew what a cello was three years ago until three years ago. But then one day, this is like at, I le- this is how I like telling this story. <laughs> I had this chick called Jacqueline Dupree play. She was playing Jacqueline? Dupree. Mm-hmm. Um, she died. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, she was playing um, Elga's cello concerto. Okay. And I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. That one, that That's one. What, what is that? What is that? What is that sound I'm hearing? Mm-hmm. That is what I want to do for the rest of my life. <laughs> Okay. And I'm I'm a pretty easy decision maker. I hear, I want, I go, I go play, I do. Yeah. And then you get tired, and then you spoil it, and then you. Well, <laughs> it's <laughs> part of the process. Yeah, I Don't worry about it. But I broke this thing. Mm. We. Even this bag is a second bag. Who's the the first one? <laughs> How old is your instrument? There he is. It's three years old, and it has gone through all that. <laughs> What's the name of the instrument? Cecilio. I mean, it's not a Cecilio. Oh, you, <laughs> oh, you named the instrument. Oh, <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> 
Ah, uh, cuz you thought it was that the brand. Yeah. There's a brand of of cello called of makers called Cecilio. So, okay, actually the, your instrument has a name. Yes, why not? Okay. Mm-hmm. I will I'll, maybe I will call my instrument at Yambo. Hey, do you want that name? <laughs> yes, yes. It looks like, like an at Yambo cuz doesn't look interesting. <laughs> it has a big Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-uh. Mm. <laughs> well, as the song goes, I mean, yeah. but that ball looks bad. Honestly, let me nikit to me and I'm still feeling ish ish. And then it's really heavy. Mm. The first that's one I had was a bit. That's the best ball. Ah. Uh-huh. As a as a as a. Okay, I will hold your beginner. Mm. Uh, but yes, that's the ball, best ball to have for you. Do you have perfect pitch? No, I I know specific thing. You have relatively good pitch. Yes, I know uh-huh. what needs to be done. So Mira says Caribbean hapo. I can't. Cuz the many times I've I've broken strings by trying to tune it. I uh, I I am okay me. Okay, strings break when you tighten when you over tighten the 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 last time I broke a string, actually not a few months ago, juicy juicy too. Mm. I was I was trying to adjust that bridge. When mm. I on I tried and then it backfired on me. But Aki, this is so interesting. Okay, so what's your decision? You are you are your bone needs to be rehaired. Yeah, it depends. <laughs> unafanya unafanya be, be a struggling Kenyan musician. Hakuna kitu kama struggling. Are you struggling? <laughs> I'm struggling. Don't you see struggle written all over me? Sasa <laughs> 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 yeah. tunafa music Kenyan musicians we, we need to be given subsidies cuz we ni too bad. Okay. So um as far as what I need to do it's done. Me, I'm good. Cause you know, just a hanging small my evil. It look when end that week end. Ah, no, it feels good. It's recording, eh? Mm. So, um, this is how I was taught in school in mm. class. Okay. Um, it uh, this thing is here are mm. supposed to be above your. These are called what? Your legs. Um. Uh, yes. Uh, above your knees. I don't know. Thanks. Yes. It is. It is knees above your <laughs> knees. Above okay. your knees. Mm. And then it's supposed to be slightly tilted towards your right side, towards the C string. Okay. So this is, so this is, and you have, you have good pitch. Yeah. So this is our, our right, our C string. It's supposed to be slightly to see sana, evil. Okay. And then it's supposed, of course, to be between your knees. No fight, you're not to be, supposed to be slouched. Mm-hmm. You're supposed to sit majestic. Upright. Majestic. Not even upright. Majestic. Yeah. So this is the first time to play cello. Okay. And we start tuning with the... Uh, What's that is about? Uh, mm. Yeah, yeah. Then you check the bridge. Immediately you do that, you check the bridge. You may know Kai Jainuka. You may know Kai. Okay. Bado. Okay. Just continue. It costs so much. It costs much more than the rest of the students. Okay. And after tuna. And after fork. Fork tuna. Fork, fork tuna, fork. So, but what is this supposed to do? So this 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 is a tuning fork. Uh huh. So uh, once you hit it, it gives you an A. It is. It is oh, just tuned. an A. <laughs> so if it give you if you, if it gives you if you play it, then that A huh? is the do. So if you're going to if you want to play D, if you want to tune your instrument in D, uh-huh. so this is A. Uh-huh. So you'll just knock it somewhere. So it has, so it has given. You have touched it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So mm. it gives you the A, an A, mm-hmm. which you use as your first note, note which is the do. Mm-hmm. So once you knock it, mm-hmm. so so once you have that, mm-hmm. 
then if you're going to play D, then you need to start from there. So. Yes. But it helps you in listening. Yeah. It, it improves your ears. So this, I'm pretty sure. So, we are so yes. if I want to, to get a D. D. So. Yes, so do re mi fa fa there. Hey, okay. <laughs> that is it. That is it. E string. D A G G string. So fa. Yeah, there. I'm pretty sure that is. Yes, yes. I don't have perfect pitch, but I know my strings. So. Kidogo two, kidogo two. Okay, we'll check, but I. We'll not try playing. Just try playing something. Maybe it's not perfectly tuned, but. Okay, now we use yeah. the tuner. Yeah, tune. yeah. And then when you're shiden a kuangao, mm. when you know something is out of tune, but you don't know exactly where to go <laughs> up or down, <laughs> and maybe people are just looking at you waiting high, uh huh, mm. and then, okay. Uh -huh, next. <coughs> They're waiting for you, unatueka, and you don't yeah. know what's, what's wrong. You just know that is not the sound. Yes, just just carry it. Because if I had not carried my bow, how would do that? So that I can not continue to climb up. I'm in a lot of stress. I'll go this way, go that way. But okay, I feel so. So so this is what I was telling you. Yeah. You can see now your your bridge is up. Yeah. Again. So if if the tuning was to take a bigger space, then this one will this one will snap. Yes, it will snap if you are if you would have continued tuning, mm -hmm. then it will have snapped. So what needs to be done? Just hold it a bit. Yes, okay. we will take it back. So what I do? Press hold over here. <coughs> press it down. <coughs> press it down. Then to my side. Press down to your side. Yes, just press again. So mm -hmm. You see, we have already. Add a space, and I'm going to just do it again. Press it down, and there we go. Pro this. Gosh, are you any pro? <laughs> <laughs> Don't have to use a lot of energy. Yeah. Uh, actually, you use some energy, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, you need to be very um, careful with how you pull it to your side. Let me try. At least let me try when you're here. So that. If when I'm doing at home, yes. I mean, that's kind of practical. Okay, I'm the idea I make work. And of course, as you know, I have. I have no, to... it doesn't hold, touch down. Ah! The so... instrument doesn't touch down. Can you, I'm, I'm, I'm small. <laughs> Press down. Press down, and then you pull it to, the, to your side. To my side, this is. Yes, yes. Up, up like this. Just hold. Hold. You press, press down, down, like. Yes, mm -hmm. and then you pull it up. Up? Okay. To your side. Oh, there. You see that? Feel that movement? Yeah. That means that something has it's happened. Just a, just, small, just a small, movement. small movement. You don't need a, a, a bigger move. Mm -hmm. And you can see from here it just. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ah, you learned something. <laughs> yes, learned there's something. always something new. I just want to come up with a discount. Ha ha ha.
How much how much rehearing will that need? We, we, so my bow is um No, you you'll just rehearing yeah, means you are cutting that and then getting a new hair. Oh. You, oh, not like oh, need, I feel hair uh, feel like uh, well, No. What what's going to happen mm -hmm. once you approve the rehearing? Mm -hmm. It is cut. You need to cut have that. To, this one you have to stay with it for a while. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's now where uh, training comes in. But so it's, it's something you can do within few minutes. Yes. <laughs> Officially, that's what I normally see Luthiers and YouTube wearing. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, okay. So um, we have already cut this. Oh, she look at my bow. What he has done to my bow. Uh, this is cut. Is it a fairly good bow? Yes, yes. It's it's a good it's a good bow. Mm -hmm. The wood is good. Mm -hmm. yeah, of course, you may come to show, come to show places. Yes. But <laughs> that will be me. Still, <laughs> still strong. Yes. And, hmm. What I normally advise uh, my my trainees is mm -hmm. uh, first you need to. Have you have trainees. Yes, yes. Of fifteen of them. Oh. That's a lot of people. No, they, they just don't want to keep any mm. It's just a makitu. Ah, ah, Okay. So, um, first, cutting the hair, mm -hmm. the original hair. Um, then, uh, um, a side plate. Side plate, tena. Yes. Just, this is my side plate. Just oh. this. Oh, by the way, it never mm -hmm. get lost. Ah, mm -hmm. it comes off. Yes, it does. Kwani ime rust? Yes, si meguzisha maji. Um, well, that, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, um comes this other part to remove this uh, ferrule. We need to um protect it. There's so much that goes on in this. You know, yes. we we just play, we don't think about it. Then the pliers there. Uh -huh. And then the movement is this and okay. this. So you're moving like this as you pull. Mm. So this. The ferrule is out. The ferrule goes there. So that's the ferrule. Ferrule. Yes. We asked when is it a frog? The frog is the whole thing. Yeah. This one also has a name. I don't remember. Mm. Then it slides out. Oh. It's there. It was there. And then we have a wedge, piece of wood over here, uh -huh. with yours still intact, uh -huh. take it there. Then this one, we kunja it there, like that. This hair, if you can manage to get it out in, um, in good shape, uh -huh. then it will help you know the amount of hair you need to use for the new one. Yeah. So, I have a tool I made myself. Uh -huh. It is measured over here. There mm. are measurements. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but yeah, they are measured. Okay. Then that one is what I'll put there to just measure it to see how much hair was used. Nice. Originally. Okay. But that's not even originally because I can tell you I've broken a lot. So this hair, has, this instrument has been uh, rehaired before? No. Okay. Never. Then... then Okay, when your hair breaks, this is what breaks. Oh, because, oh, even after I clip it with nail cutter, there's still yes, some parts of the, it that's left. So that's left. what I'm measuring. This is the original one. Nice, understood, yes. understood. See, there are this part, and then there are this. Mm -hmm. ones. These ones are the ones you have cut. Yeah. So now what you're going to measure is the original. The original. Yes. Nice. So that's why we go like this. I feel, I feel so educated, Sai. <laughs> 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 I'm a luthier in Kenya. Wait, how many luthiers are there in Kenya currently? Uh, two. Two that I know of. Just two. Just two. And then uh, Brass and Woodwinds, another bunch. But for strings, is, for strings you guys are rare. We are, yes, we are. Yeah, are. Just two and another password. Yes, yes. Okay. If there's another one, please... Let me I know. think I, I, I do know another one. Because a friend I'd like to meet you. I've took their violin you. somewhere. Somewhere else. Yes, uh, and that's the funny part with Kenya. Eh? People don't say I don't know. I don't do it. Mm. 
and actually unajo their viol- the friends of mine uh, their violin broke from here from here na akali akai feel like where i ask how how is it so the other part is moving that so advice to my fellow musicians please don't take your instruments just anywhere yeah. you need to reach out to Kevin Obara and his um, repair shop is just next to Breban um garden estate yes cool right yes Breban garden estate yeah na iko to on the road you won't struggle i can assure you that i did not struggle this morning yeah and i got here before time cuz now it's 9 i was here by 8 and it does it take you a lot of time as well nikitu ya mbio mbio i thought rehearsing is a whole day's job wait why is there another an, another colored hair here no that's a brown difference. that's a, a brown hair, a brown horse uh. so it, is there a difference yes there's a difference Um, apart from the color itself because no, 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 this no, is brown no, and this is there's no any other difference this is blonde some people prefer, some, some come here and say ah oh, there's also a black one yes ah yes yes the black one so it goes yeah but the playing is the same it has yes, the same it has effect the same job. for a, a commercial <laughs> we went for a commercial break sama will be right back after the break <laughs> yes so this is to be protected as well and then that one goes there right move it me i'm seeing physics here at work because there's so much that goes into this mm-hmm. and we never think about it yes yeah? then there's a wedge and you and mono kona ka side ball cuz it's too 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 So yeah. Do you burn all this hair because I see you have a, quite a lot. Uh, Or is the moon has panga tuka dustbin? For dustbin sometimes what na choma but that's the in kazi ya watu wengine. Kazi ya watu wengine. So there comes the other part. Measuring the amount of hair. Yes. As as you can see we we moved from uh, from here here from that to here mm-hmm. the reason why this is too weak um it is uh, just has a problem has so many problems so you're going to have this instead mm-hmm. okay so it goes there so this new refurbished yes um hmm. then uh, now measuring the amount of hair yeah a lot that's confirm good that's confirmed um the scissors oh uto uto hapa juu and then no, no, no. you take it off so the scissors goes down there mm-hmm. hold it very tightly over here yeah and then you cut. cut once you cut this one now can go and rest <laughs> waiting for another uh, i thought you have to take this off no 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 mm, interesting now the other part comes uh where i've made it myself this there's a nail just yeah. nail and the normal uh shoe makers uh string. string it's very strong uh-huh. because you need a strong string mm-hmm. so this is what you're going to use so yeah then like that like that then now comes the tricky part first there okay down up, down there then down 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 From the other side. Take it from the other side. You're trying to tie the top. Yes, just trying to tie a knot here mm. first. Yeah, like that. 
the first notice. Then you hold it very tightly. Mm -hmm. Then now um, that. Hey. <laughs> you see that? Uh -huh. That. Ah, when you eat a Then hold it like that. Apple. So that then means again, you, there are some days you are here pretty late because some things no never. <laughs> If it is in that of is in the passion too, to be uh, honest. Yes. Some things in the passion. Remember, it's very tight now. Mm -hmm. They're just making it very tight. Mm -hmm. So we go for three turns like that. For good measure. Yes. Just make sure it is it's okay and everything is the, as the way you want it. Like that. Then comes the other part. Mm -hmm. For safety, when you're cutting, you don't cut from uh, near the near the the the, the knot. Mm. Uh, but yes, basically, doggo. Mm. In case in case there was um there was a mistake done, mm. then uh, you can still take it back there and then just make the knot bigger. Mm -hmm. So we're almost done, guys. Almost done. Cut. That, that, just, just to give a small space. Mm. Um. Baby, have you ever seen a lady Luther? Yes, uh, my trainer uh, uh -huh. is uh -huh. a lady. Um. Uh, her name is Anneke Degen. She has a workshop in, in, uh, in Hamburg, Germany. Mm. Very good at her work. That's a very good job. And I just came here to have what, just one thing fixed. You see, mm -hmm. I had problems. Turns out I had a lot of problems. Then uh, now... It's safe to cut. It's safe to cut. So we will cut. I can. Then the other part is meaning you just burn. The wiki dog will burn. And there. Uh, Mm -hmm. So the other part is um, moistening the hair. Yeah. So you're just going to uh, get it ready. Because very firm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's get it ready. So yeah. let's make sure that it will be evenly distributed and it goes inside the water. This is... This is Takes a dip. <laughs> yes. This is actually warm water. Mm -hmm. So we'll yeah, give we it, it that. We'll give it approximately 10 minutes. Uh -huh. Then it will be ready. Okay. So that goes there. Then meanwhile, as it gets ready, yeah, this is interesting. Then comes part. the other part, which uh, will be back in September. So we won't is... be here for elections. No. Wow. You, you can... us, um, us summer. We can, yeah, we can. Just, we don't. <laughs> we don't. We are not ready to think. We can just are not ready to think. So I don't know mm. if people will fight or not. In a time, what? Um, I'll be back. If you have not, you will not, you will not abandon this country down to us. No, we will not. We'll take care of this country. Yeah, it's the only yeah, one we have. <laughs> this country, man. Do you wish? Do you like being outside the country or here? Uh, I don't. I don't. I. I don't like how Germany. Um, people are just into themselves. Mm. Uh, people are not like the way we people are friendly here in Kenya. Oh yes, it's jumbo jumbo. Yes, so that's the only part I don't like. Mm. But in terms of development and of course, of yes. course, that one you don't if have I to say where my, you have to do, to if be. I, if I had all my friends in Germany, uh, I would stay in Germany. Ah, uh, yeah. yes, I wouldn't come back to Kenya. You, but, you, you, you come back to Kenya for the vibes, I guess. Yes, yes. <laughs> the vibes. But, not the weather. No, I, I, I will. I will wear five jumpers and jackets. You okay? And I'm good. Is staying in the <laughs> Not here. Not so. Who, who will repair our instruments? That's eh? the other question. There is only just okay. Let's just say there is only you at the moment. Mm. So who will repair our instruments? And you know ours are delicate. Violins, um, the stringed instruments are just but, mm. a delicate bunch. 
Okay. So like literally unaza repair any instrument no matter how damaged it is. Yes, yes. Oh, nice. Okay. Because there's always learning mm. in doing that. So Yeah. Okay. So um the first thing is just to set it. Setting uh the table ready for the other the, the next part. Mm-hmm. Um I have uh measured the distance, the string. Mm. Here and then you can see we are somewhere there. So I think our our hair is ready. Yeah, it is. So just get it out and then just shake shake the excess water out. Mm-hmm. So that it like that. Come back here. Put it in. Push. It. You push it up to the far end. Mm-hmm. Far end. And then the screw goes in. You don't. Um, tighten the screw mm-hmm. just to make sure it, the screw is just there to hold it but not to it doesn't have to be tightened mm. uh, if I knew Linga should you video from this side ah the lighting mm. you can so oh to not <laughs> no this is where uh, playing with dolls comes in eh? mm, yeah <laughs> to like that. <laughs> I do okay. have with my sisters. <laughs> so the only games that were available <laughs> were these ones. <laughs> Someone is very proud about playing with dolls. Yeah, so I, well. used to, I used those were the only games I knew because I, used, I grew up yeah, with you my grew sisters. Yeah, you grew up with ladies. Yes. And you know those dollies used to have blonde hair as well. Yes. So <laughs> I'm the right space. <laughs> <laughs> you chose the right career band. Yes. So what you mean is I'm still playing my games? Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you, um, like architects, engineers, those are just kids who, who just keep improving. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> so you're told like to never leave your, your child like side. So your you need... curiosity. Mm-hmm. That curiosity is important. I don't know why I feel some type of way each time you 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 cut hair. Mm-hmm. Maybe because I know how expensive it is. <laughs> yeah, but, see, yeah, maybe the but it's necessary as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Right like that. I can look so much better. I should have taken a before and after photo because mm-hmm. I in a card. It, it looks different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Put it somewhere to dry. Oh, okay. Yes, so with me, I normally place them. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah. Yes. 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 So, today we have become luthiers <laughs> by association. I've been told to blow dry it. Um, wait, how do I turn this on? Because at the same time, you don't want to do it in excess. Moderation is the key. Um, and my boy is dry. Yeah, let him come and we finish this process and go home and enjoy playing. Mm. What, what the idea people have in mind about the different rosins? So there's not, no really much, not, not much difference. Yeah, yeah. Because someone told me you need to have a violin um, rosin and a cello rosin. The capacity it can it can hold it can uh, mm. take his what matters, but yeah, I don't. No, I I don't see any any reason as to why someone will have two rosins. If you have a rosin, mm-hmm. just use a rosin. But then, why have you never thought of playing a stringed instrument? Because I don't like the sound of the instrument yeah. as a beginner. Oh my god. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, you're off the hook. Kidogo, <laughs> kidogo to, to no, I don't like the sound of a beginner. Yeah, no, but it's part play. of the process. Yes, it's part of Even the when process. you're starting, you started playing the tube assist, how did it sound? I didn't think it sounded bad because, because you excited. didn't know. I was excited. But now, with this experience I have in music, ah. How long have you played the tuba? Ah, um, 2012. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a bit of time, right? That's um, um, approximately 10 years or so. Yes, it's actually 10. 10 years. 10 years. Yes, 10 years. 
Hey, master, yes. <laughs> maestro. Yes, you should be sorry. Aye, we are mm. uh, equivalently so. Yes. I don't know if I. By the time I get to like playing cello ten years, mm. oh yo, I'll be sounding so good, provided you practice. The cello, Rosie. Mm -hmm. And then this one I'm using is a universal one. Mm. The first one just helps me create the grip. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's a lot of rose in Bana. Yes, for the for for a beginning. Mm -hmm. Then that you will be okay. Hey, but then this makes such a difference. Now, when mine had even in Baka, it look in a car, it may turn color. Yes. It may she. So glad you're yeah. done, isn't it? Yes, your instrument now is will be happy. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Chell Gang, for making it to the end of this video. And yes, my cello is fixed, my end pin has been replaced, and my bow has been rehaired. I am on my merry way home as a very happy Cello Gang squad, y'all. So this is it. This is the last part of this video. I am truly thankful to Obara's workshop and truly thankful to him as well. Um... He has done an amazing, immaculate, outstanding job. And as I said, there is only two luthiers in Kenya. One is in Naivasha and the other one is actually Obara and he is the only one in Nairobi, Kenya. So anytime you need your cello fixed, any of the instruments fixed, please do reach out to him. I recommend him any day, any time, every single time. He comes through <laughs> every single time. Um, so I have just been informed that, that my taxi is waiting outside and that's what I am doing. I'm currently going home and I guess th this is it. Um, I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye Chalo Gang. Have a good day.